Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 46. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to add links to website pages. And the reason that we're making this tutorial is because we had a request on YouTube from a viewer that wanted to see how to link to certain website pages using the Xara software. So before I get started, I do want to say you know thank you for submitting that comment I do appreciate it person that asked for this request and I encourage anyone else that wants help with learning the XR software for the web designer version that you send us a message on YouTube and we will try our best to make a tutorial and because this user has submitted a comment and we're making a tutorial it's proof that we actually do read through your emails uh, that you send us on YouTube and we take them very seriously so make sure that you are sending us a message if you have any questions or concerns about how to do a certain thing or operation within the Xara Web Designer 7 Premium software so anyway let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial again this tutorial is going to focus on how to link to website pages using the Xara software so if you haven't already go ahead and start a blank new document in the Xara software once you start your blank new document, uh, the next thing we're going to do is go to the designs gallery. So go to the designs gallery and I'm going to lock that panel and I'm actually going to close out all the folders that I have open. By default, you should have closed folders unless you've opened up the designs gallery previously, but yours should look more like this. So once you do that, let's go ahead and go to the navigations bar folder. And when you left click on that folder, it's going to bring up a series of navigation menu bars and in this case I'm going to be showing you how to link to website pages using the navigation menu bar so let's go ahead and it doesn't matter what navigation menu bar you drag in it's just personal preference so left click and drag that into your workspace it does not have to be the same one that I have but if you want to follow this tutorial exactly the one that I use is called Firestorm Horizontal and I'm going to increase the height or in the width of this navigation menu bar by placing my cursor on one of the end nodes and you'll notice that it turns into a horizontal cursor with two arrows pointing one up and one downward and if you left click and drag that outward you'll see that our navigation menu bar gets bigger and once you make the navigation menu bar to the size that you want it go ahead and double left click on it and once you double left click on that it will bring up the navigation bar properties and you've been to this menu before so some of this should look very familiar now once you open up that navigation bar properties menu you want to go to the section that says URL and if you go to the part where it says buttons and menus that's the area that we're going to focus on this bottom area here this whole section and you'll see that in the next column here where it says URL right beneath that it has a series of links here and in this case by default the program automatically links to the xara.com website so what you want to do let's say that we want to change the link for button text one which if you look in this first column it'll say buttons and menu and it'll say button text one so that's the name of the text and if you look in our workspace it says button text one so when we want to change the link for button text one using the navigations bar properties we want to go to the next column over for the URL and this is where we're going to change that link so left click on that first URL so left click on that and when you left click on it you'll see that it highlights that whole row for the button text one and the xara.com but if you click it again you'll see that it brings up a dialogue so the second time that you click on the xara.com link for that URL section it will bring up this web properties menu and when you bring up that menu there's really two ways to link to a website or to a website page the first one that you have is the link to web or email address and I recommend using this one when you're linking to an external website so maybe you want to link to our site because you think we're an awesome company so you would type in www.xartemplate.com and then when you're done you would click on the OK button and if you go back to your navigation bar properties menu here or a panel if you want to call it that you'll see that it now changed to xartemplate.com rather than xar.com 
like it has for the other two links here. So let's go to button text 2 and let's go ahead and left click that. And you'll see that again it highlights that whole row for button text 2 and also for the URL. If you left click on the xar.com in the URL section again by left clicking on that, it again will bring up the web properties menu. And this time, instead of linking to an external website, we're going to link to a website within your pages. And if you click on that link too, and you click on page index, it will link to the page that we have, which in this case we only have the index page. So you would select page index. And once you set the link to page to index page, you would click OK. And you'll notice that the URL changes to index. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK and close out of this navigation bar properties menu. And we're going to go to the page and layers gallery. So go over to the right hand side of your menu and you'll see that the page and layer gallery will pop out. We're going to go ahead and lock that panel. And in this case, it's going to lock that panel in front of the designs gallery panel. So we'll have both of these locked and open. And what we're going to do is we're going to left click on the thumbnail for the first page, the index page, and we're going to click new page. Okay. And on this new page that we just created, we're going to draw a rectangle. So go to your toolbar and just make a random rectangle. It doesn't matter what color it is. In this case, I'm going to make it a different color so that it's more noticeable. And once you make those changes, you're going to go ahead and close out your page and layer gallery. So click the X button in the right hand upper hand corner of your page and layout get in your page and layer gallery panel. So I'll say that one more time because my words got a little twisted. Click the X button in the upper right hand corner of the page and layer gallery and that'll close it. So once you close that, let's go back to our workspace and then go to the toolbar and select the selection tool. When you select the selection tool, let's go ahead and double left click on this navigation menu bar again and it'll bring up the navigation bar properties. And this time for button text 3, we're going to go ahead and left click that and then we're going to click on the xar.com link and when we click on that, it'll bring up the web properties. And let's go back to link 2. So I want to make sure that you guys are understanding this. When you click on link 2 option, it's going to allow you to select a page within your website. So take that into account. When you click on the link 2 option, it's picking a page within your website. So if I go to that drop down menu, you'll see that it shows page 2, which we created a page called page 2, which is the default name for it. So you'll have a page 2 there. And you'll click OK, and you'll see that now it links to page 2. So let me show you where page 1 and page 2 are at and what it's referencing to. And before I do that, if you look closely, I don't know if you can see that on screen. But when it says page one, it's saying index because by default, the main page, the first page that you have in any website that you design will always be called index. So regardless of what you're doing, you should always see index for page one. Now page two, we can name that whatever we want to. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And then let's go back to the page and layers gallery. And let's go ahead and lock that panel. And once you lock that panel, Let's go to page two and you'll see that there is no page name for page two. So we're going to click in there one time and you'll see that it'll bring up this little square rectangle and we'll call it our new page and then hit enter. And then we're going to close this page and layer gallery again by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner. And then we're going to double left click on our navigation menu bar again. And now you'll see that for page two in the navigation bar properties that it says our new page. So page two is called our new page and we gave it a Pacific name. So you're again, you're linking to a Pacific page in your website if you use the link to option. And I'm going to bring that up one more time so that you can see it. So if you go to web properties after you click on that twice, you'll see that it's linked to our new page. And we have the option to set it to index if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that in this case. Now, let me also mention one more time what it means to link to an external website. So let's double left click on exartemplate.com URL. 
when you do that it will bring up that web properties dialog and you'll see that it says link to web or email address so anytime that you want to link to an external website I recommend using the link to web or email address and anytime that you want to link to an ex uh, a web page that's within your website so if you want to link to a web page that's within your website click on the link to option so let's go ahead and hit OK and leave those settings the same and then hit OK for our navigations bar properties as well now let's go ahead and go to file in the upper left hand corner of our program and then go to preview website and when you go to preview you'll notice that we have a couple options to choose from here we choose button text one it's going to take you to the czar template.com website so when I click on button text one this will be an example of linking to an external website and the reason I say external website is I'm assuming that you wouldn't link to our website you know and and if you did link to our website your domain would be different than ours it wouldn't be the same and don't worry if you don't understand what that means just know that for this particular link that I'm about to click on it's going to link to an external website where we typed in the www.exartemplate.com so when I left click on that you have to may have to give it a moment because the internet's not the fastest but it should bring up our website shortly here and as you can see it indeed brings up the template.com website and if you go back let's hit the left arrow up here and that will take us back to the previous page and this time if we click on the third link here it's going to take us to a page within the website because we link to our new page and when you click on that guess what you see the green square box here that we drew on that page and if you click on button text 2 it's going to take us back to the index page which is because we set it to that particular page and if you're not following me I will bring up the navigation menu bar again and show you what what's happening here when we clicked on button text 1 it took us to XRTemplate.com, which if you go to the web properties you'll see that in the link to web or email address it indeed is linked to our website which is an external website outside of our regular pages now if you want to link to the home page when you go to the link to and you choose page index which link to is for linking within your website and I apologize for those who are catching on to this quickly but for those who are not I have to keep repeating this to make sure that you're understanding because if you don't understand this principle it's gonna be very hard for you to create a a solid navigation structure or linking within your website and if you go to page 2 within the URL well you can see that I set it to page 2 if you double left click on that you'll see that indeed it links to our new page and the link to option here so I hope that you understood uh, you know how to and this got an access violation I'm not sure what I did wrong but whatever the case I'm hoping that you do understand uh, how to link to certain pages within your website and also how to link to external websites and I do apologize that I got an error here uh, might, I might have too many processes running in the background or something uh, the program doesn't usually error out so don't blame Exar for this uh, it's probably just my computer so I do apologize for that but uh, hopefully again that th this tutorial helped the YouTube viewer that was wanting to know how to uh, make edits to link to pages within the website and also how to link to websites externally so I uh, thank you for viewing this tutorial and I hope that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our video or to our, our YouTube uh, playlist or page whatever you call it I'm not sure but I hope that you subscribe give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment if you have questions and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials yeah.